Welcome to NAB Show 2019 and the Sony exhibit. And welcome to our presentation, IP Live On Air. Consider a progress report on Sony's contribution to the historic transition from SDI to IP-based infrastructure, grounded in the all-important transport standard, SMPT ST2110. Most broadcasters understand the benefits of replacing SDI transport with IP. Professionals know that IP Live means lower costs as we replace broadcast-specific SDI routers manufactured in small lots by specialty firms, supplanting them with off-the-shelf IP switches mass-produced by IT industry giants. IP Live also lowers costs by simplifying your infrastructure, enabling a single unified IP network for both live production and file-based production. And as we'll see, IP Live enables impressive new system configurations that lower capital expense, lower travel expense, and maximize system productivity. For example, IP Live enables resource sharing, where a single switcher frame can support multiple shows simultaneously. IP Live enables remote integration, dramatically cutting travel costs. And ultimately, IP Live will enable virtualization a world in the not-too-distant future where you can subscribe to production resources as you need them. These benefits are powerful, and Sony delivers. In this presentation, we'll share the latest in Sony's expanding product portfolio. We'll introduce exciting suites of software tools for automation and orchestration. We'll touch briefly on the current state of industry standards and we'll see key examples of customer systems that Sony has already implemented. Let's start with products, the gear that broadcasters everywhere rely on. While all our equipment supports conventional SDI environments, we're also ready for IP environments, and a growing range of products support SMPT ST2110, not only in high definition, but also in 4K. All told, we have a wide range of IP-capable cameras, switchers, and production servers, plus infrastructure and management tools. And now, we're making significant additions. New at the NEB show is the HDC 5500, the world's first two-thirds inch 4K global shutter 3CMOS system camera with direct 4K signal output capability in 12G SDI. It offers high sensitivity, low noise, wide dynamic range for HDR, and eight times HD super slow motion. At IBC in Amsterdam, we announced the camera that so many of you have been waiting for. For about the price of our extremely popular HDC 2500, the HDC 3500 can be configured as an HDR capable 4K or HD camera system. The camera ships from the factory with full HD output with 4K available as an upgrade. And because the HDC 3500 is compatible with our current large lens adapters, viewfinders, and remote panels, it's the perfect choice to work side by side with our legacy cameras. This new camera is accompanied by the HDC P50, a compact 4K HD and HDR point of view camera. The HDC 3100, a full HD CMOS sensor camera with global shutter and fiber optic output. And the HDC 3170 with digital triax output. And we're supporting these camera heads with a new line of camera control units that you can configure for IP live production systems over ST2110 in 4K or HD. Previewed last year at NEB, our top-of-the-line XVS 9000 multi-format switcher is now a reality, ready to handle up to 80 4K inputs and up to 40 4K outputs, and equally adept at supporting SDI, 12G SDI, or 100G IP Live connections. To better connect IP Live with SDI devices and systems, we're launching two new SDI IP converter boards the NXLK IP50Y and IP51Y modular boards to fit in the NXL FR316 frame. They both support ST2110 4K HD natively. 
The IP50Y provides 8 times 3G SDI ports and 2 times 25G ports for redundant network connection, while the IP51Y provides 2 times 12G SDI ports and 2 times 3G SDI ports. Both converters will offer optional up-down conversion and HDR-SDR conversion in a future upgrade. As you've seen, Sony isn't content simply to support ST2110 in HD. We're also supporting 2110 in 4K, making Sony hardware the ideal choice for your production agenda now and in the future. At the heart of the IP Live production system is the IP Live System Manager known as LSM. This powerful software-based platform is the broadcast network controller for all IP-enabled equipment in the live production environment. LSM administers quality of service throughout the network, manages streams for video, audio, and ancillary data, manages each endpoint, and controls routing. The latest software also supports the AMWA and MOS standards ISO 4, ISO 5, and Registration Discovery Service, RDS, to manage third-party devices. When it comes to routing, many of you may remember Sony's SBUS protocol. To complement our LSM, we created a new open routing control protocol designed to communicate with other equipment and systems for handling not only routing, but also names and tally. This is NSBUS, featured in our new family of routing control panels. The MKS R3210, R1620, and R1630 are all controlled through LSM and all support NSBUS. Whether you're ready to jump into IP Live now or you're just leaving the option open for a future migration, it's clear that you can invest with confidence in Sony's expanded lineup of IP Live equipment. This growth in our product line is especially welcome because the era of waiting and of competing incompatible implementations is over. The era of SMPTE 2110 based customer installations is well underway. Along with many of the vendors that you'll find at NAB, Sony has been an eager and willing participant in the industry wide efforts to establish IP Live standards. Together, we're working across the technology pyramid to satisfy the full range of user requirements. To start with, IP Live requires reliable standardized media transport. That's why SMPTE 2110 sits at the top. Just as current studio systems require GenLock, IP Live Layer 2 provides even more accurate timing with SMPTE ST 2059, the Precision Time Protocol. The Advanced Media Workflow Association has produced vital standards for Layer 3. The applicable standards are NMOS ISO 4 and 05, and Sony is well underway to compatibility. We now support ISO 4 and 05 in our LSM and cameras. Switches and servers will come later. And I'll discuss the fourth layer, configuration and monitoring, in just a few minutes. Now that SMPTE 2110 is well established, broadcasters, studios, and remote truck operators are racing forward with deployments of Sony's IP Live infrastructure. They're jumping on board in record numbers. Clearly, IP Live isn't some concept for the future. It's here and now for some of the world's highest profile broadcasters. To pick just a few examples, NEP Australia made history with the world's first remote integration or REMI production using live to air uncompressed HD over SMPTE 2110. They used Sony HDC 4300 cameras at the venue in Brisbane connected to a control room some 920 kilometers away in Sydney. Sony IP Live capable products, including the HDC 4300 camera and our XVS series of production switchers, were expanded to deploy multiple Remy installations simultaneously, utilizing thousands of ST2110 streams. The Portuguese commercial broadcaster SIC has worked with Sony's system integration team to complete an all new TV production center based on HDR-capable high-definition. 
The system leverages SMPTE ST2110 and includes XVS switchers, HDCU3100 IP capable camera control units, and IP Live System Manager with non Sony third party integration. Guangdong Radio and Television, known as GRT, is one of the largest broadcasters in the Cantonese speaking region of China. They're undertaking a large scale upgrade to 4K, HDR, and SMPTE 2110 for their studio and outside broadcast vehicles. And they've chosen to work with Sony. And China Central Television CCTV will have a new 4K IPOB truck in September. It features 22 camera chains in IP SMPT ST2110 and six chains for high frame rate cameras, as well as an XVS production switcher delivered by Sony. All told, we already have more than 50 IP live installations in OB vehicles and studios worldwide. And our SMPT 2110 presence is growing. Clearly, Sony's IP live infrastructure is making a real difference for real broadcasters. And now, it's getting even better. At Sony, we've always understood that IP live creates incredible opportunities for resource sharing. For example, in a broadcast center, any available control room now can serve any available studio. However, that creates issues. When you make an assignment, how can you ensure all the hardware configurations will be right for your application? When you're done, how do you return all the settings back to normal? To unlock the full power of resource sharing, you need help. You need the Live Element Orchestrator. Using device drivers, Live Element Orchestrator manages both Sony's and third-party systems, including character generator, multi-viewer, audio mixer, intercom systems, and tally systems. Live Element Orchestrator gives you a centralized console for monitoring and configuring your system and the settings for all of these devices. The software includes centralized equipment configuration and setup, so you can save and load preset configurations to groups of equipment. Centralized monitoring, which consolidates alarms and network equipment status. And production resource scheduling, so you can reserve equipment. These features empower you to share resources efficiently and confidently. With Live Element Orchestrator, you can set up new studio configurations on demand. So Studio 1 can talk with Control Room B, and Studio 2 can talk with Control Room A. You can save all your new settings, and when you're done, you can instantly restore your previous settings, bringing operations back to normal with a single mouse click. Live Element Orchestrator is the extremely powerful, extremely capable solution that helps you unleash the full power of IP Live. So it's a fitting end to our story. I hope this presentation has given you a deeper appreciation for the benefits of IP Live infrastructure. And I hope you share our enthusiasm for the possibilities of IP Live. We invite you to discover all the ways that you can save money, expand service, and streamline your operations with Sony's IP Live technology. You'll find Sony's IP Live exhibit, demonstrations of Live Element Orchestrator, our new studio cameras, and our XVS 9000 switcher in the area right behind you. There, our knowledgeable experts are ready to answer your questions and put these solutions through their paces. We're also demonstrating remote integration, or REMI, with the eSports Arena here in Las Vegas. You'll see video gamers competing head-to-head -head in a live production controlled from right here in our NAB show exhibit. Starting at 1 p.m., you can take the helm of the remote production demonstration right here in the Sony booth. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your attention, and have a great day.